Hello viewers, welcome back to the session. Today we are going to see about impedance matching circuit and filters. The first topic is impedance matching circuit. The subtopics are ECG amplifier, equivalent circuit of ECG amplifier and right leg driven system. And the second topic is filters and its types. First one is ECG amplifier. It is similar to instrumentation amplifier. We know that instrumentation amplifier it is giving very high input impedance and it is also increasing the common mode rejection ratio. This is the circuit diagram of instrumentation amplifier. Now you may get to confusion what is the difference between instrumentation amplifier and ECG amplifier. Of course, this ECG amplifier is similar to instrumentation amplifier. So we are using the same circuit diagram of instrumentation amplifier. Along with that, we are adding an additional circuit. See that this is the output of instrumentation amplifier. Along with this, we are adding the additional circuit. So this circuit diagram is called as ECG amplifier. So here we are having a CR combination capacitor value 1 microfarad and resistance value is 3.3 mega ohm and here we are using one switch. See the switch is actually automatically closed when the output is saturating. At that time it will reduce the discharging time constant. Right? At the feedback side we are having resistor and capacitor. Additional resistors also there 3.3 and 4.7 kilo ohm. So this is 3.3 mega ohm, right? Can you find it? At the input side of the second circuit, we have connected a capacitor that is 1 microfarad and the net resistor value that is 3.3 mega ohm. Can you guess what is the combination? Absolutely, your guess is right. It is acting as a high pass filter. This is CR combination. So it is acting as a high pass filter. Now, can you find the RC time constant value? We know the value of R, 3.3 mega ohm and capacitor value is 1 microfarad. If you multiply both, we can get the time constant value that is 3.3 seconds. So the, this 3.3 second time constant can pass all the frequencies which is above 0.05 hertz. And the output stage of the amplifier that is non-inverting amplifier already we have discussed in the circuit. And at the feedback side we have a components called resistor and capacitor. Can you find what is the combination? So RC component is always called as low pass filter. So this low pass filter which is passing low frequencies and it is attenuating high frequency components. I told the operation of such already. Now let us move to the next concept, driven right leg system. So this is the circuit diagram of right leg driven system. Here we are considering right leg. Mainly we are focusing on this right leg. So it is named as right leg driven system. And here we are taking two arms, right and left arms we are taking. And here we are measuring the common mode voltage. And this signal will be amplified by using op-amp. After that it is passing through the average resistors. After that it is inverted. And again, it is fed back to the right leg. So, the main operation is based on the right leg. The main operation, it is depending on uh, the function that is reducing the common mode interference. That is the main application of this right leg driven circuit. These are the points we have discussed. So, this circuit is mainly used for giving protection to the patient. Sometimes, if there is any leakage, electric leakage is there between the patient and the ground, automatically it will unground the patient and it can protect the patient. Here in the circuit we have discussed RF and R0 components are there. These values are very, very higher. That is several mega ohms range so that we can limit the current. This is the equivalent circuit of ECG amplifier. Here we are having the voltage signal that is uh, measured from uh, heart and V is the error signal and Z means this is skin contact impedance and VA and VB are the signals which is measured from the electrodes and SETA is called as input impedance. Okay. Main concept is we should increase the input impedance so that noise will be 
avoided the some distortions will be avoided if the input impedance is higher we can avoid the disturbances if it is having very low input impedance definitely it will create some distortion sometimes the device may have high cmr or even though it may create some artifacts with the measured ecg signal so the problem is due to the unbalance in the source impedance so that mainly we are using this impedance matching circuit so to avoid this uh, imbalance what we can do do we can increase the input impedance and we can increase the cmr two options are there so from this formula i can understand if you increase the input impedance or if you reduce the difference between this skin contact impedance automatically the cmr values will be increased am i right just for example we are assuming set i value is 10 mega ohm and the difference is 1 kilo ohm if you substitute here you are getting 5000 as a cmr now the second option the difference we are considering as 5 kilo ohm again you substitute so we can understand when we are taking the difference value is very very higher then the cmr value will be low correct cmr value will be low this is when the situs minus system value is 1 kilo ohm it is uh, we are getting 5000 as a cmr when we are taking it's a 5k when we are increasing this value we are getting low value as a cmr and another option we can increase the set type value so we are taking set type equal to 100 mega ohm again we are substituting and we are getting the cmr value as 10000 from that you can understand when you are increasing the input impedance otherwise when you are reducing the difference between skin contact impedance automatically we can increase the common mode rejection ratio so different methods used to increase the input impedance either you can use uh, field effect transistors otherwise you can use instrumentation amplifier to increase the input impedance i hope you have understand the concept under impedance matching circuit now let us move to the concept filters the, our topic is active filters already you may know the concept of passive filters so passive filter means the filter is constructed using passive components what are the passive components resistors capacitors inductors are called as passive components so if you are designing the circuit using this passive components then it is called as passive filters if you are using the same passive components also we are adding some active components like operation amplifier then the filter circuit is called as active filters there are different types of active filters there are low pass filter high pass filter and band pass filter so we, you can understand from the title itself high pass filter so it will pass high frequencies and reject the remaining frequencies correct now low pass filter it can pass only low frequencies band pass filter mean it can pass certain band of frequency certain range of frequencies and reject remaining frequencies now let us discuss the frequency response of low pass high pass and band pass filters so low pass filter means we know that it can pass only low frequencies x-axis we are taking frequency and y-axis we are considering gain so this is low frequency right so at that time the gain is high so at the it is passing low frequency so it is constrained right it is uh, very high at the low frequency side this is the frequency response of low pass filter similarly if you are taking high pass filter at the high frequency side the gain is increasing am i right now, when you are taking band pass filter, at the, between the certain band of frequencies, the gain is higher. First concept is low pass filter. Low pass is also called as RC component. The feedback we are considering RC component. So, it is uh, used for passing low frequency components and it is avoiding or attenuating the high frequency noises. So, that only mainly we are using low pass filter. Now, we should find V0 by VI. Again, we should find just we are considering the resistors in the just to see the circuit this is feedback so you can take r2 equal to rf that is feedback resistor the capacitor can be considered as a feedback capacitor so we can assume that c equal to cf right now we should find v0 by vi otherwise v0 by v1 so you know that v0 by vi is uh, if you are considering for inverting amplifier the formula will be minus rf by ri right but here we are having two components so we can write v0 by vi equal to minus set of by set i so you can write find set of value so it's a tough equal to how will you write r2 that is consider rf so rf into 1 by j omega c divided by r2 plus 1 by j omega c am i right now you have to write the value of input impedance is set i so set i equal to r1 
now come to the derivation set of equal to minus we are keeping aside and uh, we are substituting here set of equal to r by 1 by j mega cf by 1 by j mega cf plus rf divided by set i equal to ri right now we are simplifying this derivation we are keeping this minus here and we are simplifying finally we are getting this answer the main advantage is gain is higher and input impedance is very higher and low output impedance we are getting i hope you understand low pass filter now let us move to high pass filter so high pass filter it is allowing high frequencies and rejecting the low frequency noises so this is the circuit c r combination we are adding at the input side same derivation we have to follow here vi by vi equal to minus set of by set i set of equal to r2 otherwise we can take it as r so set of equal to rf so ri or set i equal to what will you write c means 1 by j mega c plus ri am i right same like uh, low pass filter we are considering this assumption right can you understand set of equal to rf set i equal to 1 by j mega c plus ri just to simplify this and you will get this answer right i hope you have understand high pass filter next concept is band pass filter band pass it's a combination of low pass and high pass filters so here we are adding rc component here we are adding capacitor and resistor this is the circuit diagram once again we will come to the same response can you find from this graph this band pass is the combination of low pass and high pass so this is the response for the first half is the response of high pass filter am i right now the second half is the response of low pass filter so we can say band pass filter is the combination of high pass and low pass so we can draw the block diagram it's a combination of high pass and we are amplifying that again we are filtering so that we are getting the response of band pass filter the response uh, is written as frequency response or resonant frequency we are calculating here fr equal to root of low frequency into high frequency the quality factor can be obtained by using this resonant frequency the formula q equal to fr by bandwidth you can find bandwidth easily from the graph that is difference between high frequency and low frequency i have i understand that you can easily catch the points now you can do a simple assignment using the same concept that is filters to remove the noise signal you can record your voice signal and it may have some disturbance you can record your voice in the presence of some disturbance and you should remove that voice signal now that is the task you can take and uh, you can uh, do this so today we have discussed about impedance matching circuit and what are the types of filters i hope you have understand today's concept now i end the session with a, a simple quote wisdom is the power to put our time and our knowledge to the proper use thanks for watching this